Morning everybody, hope you are all well. Um, I'm up here at the storage yard in the caravan. Once again, I've got a few jobs I want to do. And one of those jobs is to replace this, the waste outlet pipe for our wastewater. Now, long-term subscribers to our channel will remember that I've created this already in a previous video when I created the service pitch connection kit, which you can go and have a look at right here. Uh, I created this from bits and bobs that I purchased from B&Q along with some standard long pipes and it worked okay and it's been all right for the past few years. I did however have a couple of problems with it. It wouldn't quite fit in quite right. You notice that one of these pipes is a little bit longer than the other. That would just give me enough wiggle room to make sure I could get it in because the gap between there and there wasn't quite right. Um, I've since found out that every single caravan as every single make and manufacturer has a very slight difference because well they're put on there by hand so they'll, they'll never be the same for any two caravans. So consequently when we've plugged this into our bailey it just doesn't work it keeps falling out and it's making a heck of a, a job and also because this is quite far underneath the caravan it's a devil a job to fit in as well. Um, so it's it's not really working for us anymore. So I've been on the hunt for a solution So I've popped up to the dealership this morning and I've purchased this kit here. It's available online It's available in most dealerships. I would imagine um, You can certainly buy it on on eBay as well I've had a hunt round for this already now. I've paid seven pounds for this this morning um, And I've put a link to one below as well And I don't know what the price is of that but it's gonna be about that sort of price I would imagine uh, it will be an affiliate link and it'll go straight to Amazon so you can pick that up straight away now the kit consists of a t-piece two right angles which you can see there and a length of gray pipe now you can obviously see it comes in a kit and we need to chop this up and we need to make this fit our caravan and the purpose of this video is to show you how to measure it up and how to cut it so it fits your caravan absolutely perfectly because your caravan will be different to mine and mine will be different to somebody else's so let's show you how to cut this and make a decent job of fitting it onto your caravan Right, in order to make this fit perfectly and to make sure we've got the gap absolutely spot on so we get this fitting correctly to our caravan, is we need to understand how much of this pipe is going to fit inside the connectors. So what we're going to do to start with is we're going to fit an end on nice and secure like so. Don't over tighten it because I think the chances of this splitting are quite high. So that's in nice and secure. And what we're going to do is we're going to mark with a pen on here. You can't see it just yet. But as soon as I remove it, oh, there you go, hope you can see that. That's how much of the pipe is going to fit inside that connector. Okay, that's an important part. The next step is we need to do exactly the same. If you've got two outlets, you need to do this step as well. We're going to do exactly the same thing with one half of the T-piece. Now I'm expecting this. Oh, nope, not quite. That's not quite fitting up to that mark, is it? Let's just focus there. Right, I'm going to mark that line as well. You'll understand why in a moment. Take that one off, and then we can see we've got two lines on the pipe. Now, the reason why I've done that is we need to measure both of those lines, add them together, and then we're going to fit these two pieces onto the caravan, and the gap between them we add onto those two measurements as well. Let's go outside with the ruler. Let's measure up the final dimensions that we need. Right, so here we are outside the caravan. Let's just put everything on the floor. And these are my two waste pipes. And you can see there's quite a distance here that they go in underneath the caravan. I don't know if yours is the same as that, but these are stepped in quite significantly. So that's the front of the caravan. This is the back over here. So obviously we want our waste to go this way. So what I'm going to do is fit the angle piece at this end, I'm going to fit the T-piece here, like so. Make sure they're lined up, like so. And now all we need to do is measure this gap between these two points here. And I hope you can see that. That is, near as damn it, one centimetre, 10 mil, between those two points there. Just measure it a bit higher up, make sure. Yep, so that's one centimetre between those two points there. So we need to take that measurement, add it onto the other two, and that's our total length that we need to cut off. Right, so let's just plot it out, make sure we've got it right. So we've got 18 mil there. Yes, 
23 mil there yes plus the 10 so 10 plus 18 that's 28 plus 23 that's 51 51 I'm sure I've got that right no doubt if I've got it wrong you'll tell me in the comments below now long-term subscribers to my channel will know that my cutting skills are impeccable uh, only because I use this thing uh, I've already had a test go with it already uh, it does seem to cut quite nicely it does do nice jobs and all I'm going to do is measure up on here and cut don't tell Mrs. T that I'm using her kitchen as a workshop. Right, that's good. That gives us that piece there. I'm just going to clean up this end here because you can see it's a bit burred and it's a bit gnarly. The best way to do that is to use a file. Let me just pop outside and do this a minute. Eventually. Right, there we go. That's the piece in the end. That's the cut end that you're looking at there. I ended up using some sandpaper. Well, it was wet and dry that I had left over. So let's put the pieces together. That one goes in there like so, push the two together. Right, so here we go. Uh, that gap there we said we should be about a centimetre, didn't we? Or 10 mil. Let's just have a quick measurement up there. Now, you may think to yourself, right, well that's it then. Um, but no, we obviously need to get that to our waste master. And I'm going to use our old friend, Mr. Flexible Pipe. So what I have here is that goes into the caravan just here, and that will bend down enough to go into the wastemaster. I think I'm going to cut this a bit shorter, but let's see how we get on with this at the moment. Anyway, let's go and have a look. There we go. So that's those two nicely fitting in there. That looks a lot neater as well, doesn't it? And if I just pull the camera around here, you can see I've got enough pipe here will go down into the wastemaster, which will be down here. So there we go. I think you'll agree, that looks a heck of a lot neater than the other one that I made. Right, and there we go, that's it. I'm pretty impressed with that, I think you'll agree. Um, I've just compared it to the size difference of this one, which is the one I've been using for the past few years. Look at the difference in size. It's really, <laughs> it's really impressive. It's no worth noting that that is the size of the waste pipe that your caravan is equipped with, which is 28 mil. Some older ones I think are 23 mil, but modern caravans are 28 mil anyway. Um, I noticed, playing around with them just now off camera, this really does fit very snugly. This one doesn't. It's still quite loose and just falls out. The slightest touch and it just plops out and you end up with wastewater across the floor. Now one final point is I haven't glued this together. Um, I don't think it needs gluing together. It's quite tight, quite snug the way it fits together. I don't think it actually needs it. But only time will tell, so I'll report back to you if that does in fact need gluing together. Now I found a couple of these online, there is a link to one of these in the description below. It's an Amazon affiliate link, uh, costs you no extra but we get a very small commission. Closer inspection of my receipt, it turns out I paid £6.99 myself for one of these. And I think I'm uh, pretty happy with it. It's a vast improvement I think you'll agree, to this old thing. So I think this can be consigned to the bin. So thanks for watching guys, if you've got any questions or comments feel free to pop them down below. Until the next one, I'll see you very soon. Bye now.